the iPhone 15 Pro is being hailed for its video and photo capabilities, and for good reason. It's a very capable photo and video camera that can fit in your pocket, now in a super clean titanium too. It's a 48 megapixel main camera with 12 megapixel ultra wide and telephoto sensors as well. Specifically on the video side of things though, we saw the introduction of Apple ProRes Log. Log footage essentially gives you much better dynamic range, and it's something that I've been shooting in with my main cameras for a very long time now. To put it simply, the higher dynamic range your camera has, the closer that captured image will compare to what an eye can actually see in real life. Better dynamic range equals better looking footage. Now, I've never been a huge fan of phone cameras in the first place, and I think that the footage that you get from them always looks less than ideal, for any kind of professional use at least. As tech advances though, there's no doubt companies are trying to bridge that gap in quality between phone cameras and pro level cameras, Apple being one of the main ones. So utilizing Apple ProRes Log, how good does the footage actually look? Now the iPhone 15 Pro can't shoot 4K60 ProRes Log on its own. You have to have an external SSD drive hooked up to it to be able to do that because, you know, file size. So that's what I did. Thanks to the all new breakthrough tech that Apple brought to this iPhone, the USB-C port, I hooked up my SSD. Not in a very convenient way, albeit, but it did the job at least. Although, using the MagSafe capabilities, you can probably find a pretty creative way to strap an SSD to the back of the iPhone, which is pretty cool. But regardless, my goal is to try and achieve the highest quality footage the iPhone is capable of shooting. And to be completely honest, the footage actually shocked me. after color grading turned out awesome. Certain shots looked so good, I thought it looked similar to my mirrorless cameras. Similar, not equal to or greater than, but it's still very impressive. The fact that a device that can fit in my pocket was able to capture footage like this genuinely blew me away. iPhone video and photos have always looked good, don't get me wrong, but the 15 Pro is a game changer because of that ProRes log. And if it hasn't been apparent yet, I'm only using the 15 Pro, not the Pro Max because I do not like big phones. I will take the smaller one 10 times out of 10. So I don't have access to the 5X optical zoom, just the 3X. I really wish Apple would go away from not fully loading their Pro series across all sizes, because it makes one of them less Pro than the other. And I guess it makes sense that you might be able to fit more into the, the Max series because it's bigger, but I feel like Apple should be able to work around that, right? Just give me all the Pro camera features on the smaller size too. I feel so cheated, Apple, come on. While filming handheld maxed out at 4K60 in ProRes Log, this thing got hot. And the battery plummeted too. So it's not the most ideal thing in the world to shoot this way, but it's still really cool that you can. Now is this going to replace mirrorless camera rigs or other pro level video cameras? Absolutely not. The footage still very much looks like it was shot on a phone. A sensor this small is always going to come up very short, especially when comparing it to any camera that's, you know, supposed to be a camera. Mind you, the iPhone is still a phone. The camera, while being a main part of it, sure, is not supposed to be its main function. And when you get into lenses and other details regarding the real cameras, I don't ever think that phones are gonna be replacing dedicated camera rigs ever. But it's still very cool to see just how good these things can get. And it's important not to get so caught up in the stats and performance war. Whatever tool you have, use it. Create with it and push the boundaries whether it's with an actual camera or just a phone. So what are your opinions on phone cameras? Are they good, are they not? Which ones are the best? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. That's it for this video. If you made it this far, I just wanna say an extra thanks to you for giving me the full extent of your time. It truly does mean a lot to me. Subscribe for more videos related to cameras and creating with those cameras. I'll see you all in the next one.